Hey guys, happy Monday. I am going to fix the Estee Lauder foundation. It was a little too orange for me and I had to reverse contour in order to make her work. No worries, I filmed that video. It's coming in hot real, real soon. I just have to edit it. Error, now that I did that video and I was like, oh. reverse contouring is definitely a technique that we can use, especially when you have a foundation that you want to use. It's just maybe a tinge, one to two shades deeper or the tone is slightly different than what you need. What if you don't wanna put all that energy into that? This is like the easiest way to fix your foundation and we're gonna go ahead and do that today. Plus, I have an update on the Huda Beauty Foundation, so we're gonna talk about that. I got this Hourglass Blush in my Fat Fit Fun. We're gonna try her today. I apply it on the skin so you guys can see what she looks like. I've got the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, but I got it in a different shade. And your girl got this and I'm kinda mad. I did a short with a lot of this product, but it don't matter because we're gonna get into it today. I'll give you guys full on details in long form. And then I'm gonna vent about like shorts because I'm so annoyed. And the product that I use in today's video will be all listed below in, in case you guys are interested. I'm gonna prep this skin with the MAC. I love this. It is the Hyper Real Serumizer. I've used it. Wait, focus guys, focus. Hello, here we go. I've used this three times. I don't wanna stop using it. My problem is look, it's tiny. I don't even know how much it goes for because it was gifted. It smells so freaking good, you guys. Like so good. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of prep the skin and I, listen, listen, entre me and you, we're friends, right? Let me just vent with you for a quick second. I'm so frustrated because I did a ton of videos for my collab with Ofra which are all being posted over on Instagram and TikTok. But when it comes to shorts, you can only upload up to 60 seconds. So one minute. And then there's like some juicy, I was telling Rhonda, there's some juicy pieces that are like, I don't know, it kind of helped bring my personality out and make the video in a way. Pero in order to make it fit, I, like it, within the 60 seconds, I would have to delete it. I don't want to delete it. Now, yes, you are able to upload up to three minutes worth of shorts now. However, it hasn't really taken effect. Technically, my videos are only like a minute and like 20 seconds, but still. But right now, it's not doing it. So I'm just kind of like, I don't know if I should upload it anyway or not or cut it. So I'm deliberating, but I do have a ton of videos ready to go with this amazing, beautiful palette. I have a look specifically with this shade, stunning. So make sure you check my Instagram out if you haven't like seen those. Pero yeah, so I'm frustrated. Let me show you how this baby works. I have a palette here, which is kind of semi-clean. It's just, I don't know, it's scratched up. If you want one of these, you can, I wouldn't go like the really expensive way. Timu has a whole bunch of them. I also have a metal one, me lo comí because I don't know where it is. This is like one of those, what is it, like acrylic uh, palettes. My foundation, the Estee Lauder, is in Maple Sugar 4N3. It was gifted, so your girl's not mad. Although I wish that Estee Lauder would like get with the program and update the pump. So I am going to pour some foundation and look at the color. It's like very golden yellow, if you will. And on my skin, it's just definitely like two shades deeper. This is the LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment. This is not going to change the finish of your foundation. So if you have a matte foundation, it'll still be matte after you use this. If you have dewy, it'll still be dewy. It's not gonna change the formula. It's going to change the color. The blue is going to neutralize something that's a little too yellow. So blue neutralizes yellow. So I'm going to do a little pump here. I'm going to do one and this is one of those things that you kind of want to do one pump at a time. I am going to use my finger to kind of mix it up. This was just one pump. We're almost there. I don't want to waste this foundation. It's a really good foundation. I didn't like the original formula, but they reformulated it so it's not as drying. I did a half a pump this time around. I was so impressed giving this baby a second chance. It is so good. I love this on my skin now. There we go. Now, now we're talking. I'll do a little dollop here. There's your before and your after. I'm gonna use one of these little sponges, which if you haven't checked them out over on Timu Miha, don't sleep on it. They're so freaking good. I love that I don't have to wet it. I'm gonna apply on the skin. At first, you'll be a little scared because it looks weird. You're like, why does it have a blue tint? But check her out. And it is buildable, so say that you're like, no, 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 I want more coverage. You can definitely go in and apply more and layer it. And we're no longer orange. 
Okay, the foundation is on. Here's an update on the Huda Beauty Easy Blur. If you didn't see the weird test, go check it out so you'll know why I'm giving you guys an update. Mine is in Dulce de Leche 350G. A lot of the shades do kind of pull more into like the yellow gold inside, even though they do have neutral and cool tones, most of them are more or so like on the golden side. I tried the foundation the second time around with no primer. I did my skin prep, applied a serum, let it sit, applied the foundation. I actually used the puff because I preferred the puff side better and I applied a second layer once the first one dried down and oh my goodness, it wore so much better on my normal combo skin with no primer at all. So I know they recommend a hydrating primer, but my normal combo skin did not like that. Watch the wear test if you haven't already. My skin loved this foundation with zero hydrating primer. By the way, this baby here you can get at Ulta. They had three shades available, the white, the yellow, and the blue. I don't know what happened to the orange, and this is about $10. Concealer, I'm gonna go in with the NARS. I got this one in medium 1.2 toffee. It is light. It is very light. Lighter than my complexion. I typically go one to two shades lighter than my um, skin, just so that it all looks balanced and stuff. But lately, I've really been digging the like much brighter effect on the under eye. And admittedly, I feel like I like the this concealer specifically lighter rather than my actual complexion. I think the other one I got blends and melts. It's ginger and it melts into my under eye. So it's great for like no makeup makeup days because it balances out the under eye area without making it too brightening. So it's not like super intense. But in terms of concealing, I think I like it a lot lighter. Now I have a problem with the Pat McGrath product. You're gonna see the actual full on video either today or tomorrow in shorts. I did a shorts. I did a haul from Ulta. I got this. I got some lip liners, which we'll try one today. And I got this and then some other stuff. I cannot recreate the moment because the moment already happened. I'm glad I was recording a short because at least I have it on like video, but mija, there's an issue with my powder. I'm kind of not happy about it, but I also feel like I don't want to send it back because it's weird. I've already kind of messed with it. I'll show you what I mean. Mm, that concealer is intense. I'm going to set the under eye with the Gerard Cosmetics setting powder really quickly. So I just want to make sure I remove the tap from that concealer, but I am going to want that extra brightening effect. <laughs> So I'm going to use the Pat McGrath. I don't necessarily have a new bronzer, so I'm going to go in with my Sia sculpting stick. I'll do the sides of my nose. If you haven't seen my shorts, I'm creating shorts. I'm posting pretty consistently, which is awesome. And it's a great way to get short reviews. And most of the time you're going to see product that I get in PR or product that I haul over there a lot quicker than you would see them incorporated in a long form. You're going to see them in long form anyway, but like short form is so much easier to kind of execute because you film it. You don't need a thumbnail. You just kind of like post it and then that's it. So it's kind of like a stories like on Instagram. You post it a lot quicker, ow, and you don't have to put too much planning and thought behind shorts, which is always pretty fun. Whereas long form, you do have to kind of like do the most. So if you haven't checked out my shorts, I have a whole playlist of just shorts. So you can go and like binge watch them. There's nothing like a contour or a bronzing stick and creams are like amazing. Look at the skin. This is one of the items that you can select for your Fab Fit Fun box. One of the beauty items that they have available. They have three different shades though. I ended up grabbing Sacred because it was such a pretty like pink. Look how pretty she is. For today's video, I am going for like light and glowy. So like the most that you're going to get is going to be the bronzer. I think I'm going to keep the eyes simple today because I have a campaign I'm working on and clean girl aesthetics apparently is what's being requested. I get to be creative, but I also have to follow certain directions. And so in this case, this video is simple. <laughs> I know. I was like, what? Yeah. Yeah. I'm supposed to like be simple today. Like everyday wearable, I guess. Um, I don't even know what the hell that means anymore. Okay. So let's, let me show you now that I have the bronzer and I have like the blush. How pretty is that blush though? And I went lightweight with it, but you can definitely go more heavy handed. I'll give you a good swatcheroo. So it looks pretty intense when you actually like swipe it. 
But if you go in with a brush, it's so lightweight and you can build it. I normally would go for more, but again, I'm trying to follow direction for once. Here's my Pat McGrath. This is such a bougie, bougie something. I loved the packaging. I love the little sprinkle things, even though I already made a mess with them. Like it's it's cute, it's fancy. And um, this is what I got. I got mine in the shade yellow. This is supposed to be their Skin Fetish Sublime. Mira, 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 mira. Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection. Blurring under eye powder. To brighten, it's supposed to blur. Look what I had to do to mine. I'm so annoyed, I'm so annoyed by that. I went in with a powder puff. You can go in with a brush. They recommend the brush, but I want like that intensity under the eye, right? So I went in with a powder puff and I'll go around the edge. That's what it picked up. Nothing like Mira. I'm going along the edge. What is that? And I know it's supposed to be lightweight, but that's, I'm going in with my finger along the edges. Nothing, nothing is happening. And so I was like, well, I didn't realize this was such a tough powder. So then I was like, what if? So I scratched a little bit off the top. And when I go like this, now I'm getting product. I reach out to Rhonda and I'm like, hey girl, question, have you tried this? She says, yes, I have, I have it and I love it. And I said, well, check this out. So I sent her a picture and I'm like, this is what need, like I needed to do. And I showed her a swatch and she goes, that's not normal. I said, I feel like maybe I should return it, but I also feel like weird returning it. She goes, oh, I would totally return it. But now I feel weird because I scratched the top. I know that if I were to return it, all they're gonna do is send it back or they're gonna chuck it. You know, I just want to exchange it, but I kind of feel bad about it and I don't know what to do. I like the powder once I've like built, look how pretty and like brightening it is. Once you apply it, I tried it with the brush, didn't do much, but with the powder puff, it did the most. It just adds that extra brightening. I'm just that person. I usually don't mind returning product so long that I haven't used it. I know they're gonna get rid of it anyway, but it just kind of feels weird, you know? And I did do some research online and I'm seeing that no one else is going through what I'm going through. So I'm like, man, should I return it? I don't know. What do you guys think? For real though, please let me know in the comments because uh, your girl needs to know, like, it, should I? Have you returned anything used? Like, just feel weird, especially because I scratched it, you know? I'm gonna fill in the brows with number six of the Gimme Brow Volumizing Pencil. I'm trying to keep the brows. I might have to sharpen this. This is a nice product if you're just gonna kind of like lightly fill in your brow without fluffing them up too much. And I love that it comes with a little spoolie so you can brush and go. See, it just keeps the brow nice and full, but simple. Y'all know I love my Benefit Cosmetics products, so I tend to try to rotate them when I can. On the eyes, I'm gonna use the Level Up Primer. I wanna make sure that my, cause my lids are so greasy, girl. I'm trying to get them to kind of calm down a bit. And then I said I was gonna keep the eyes simple. I didn't say it was gonna be plain. So I'll grab the same brush that I used to like blend everything out. I'm going to dip into Driven from my palette and I'll just lightly apply that all over the lid. To give it a little something without it being too much. See that under eye powder is so pretty. I just feel like, oh, should I return it? Should I keep it? What do you guys think? Like I like the powder, but for the price, I shouldn't have had to scrape the top. So that's where I'm at mentally. I don't know what to do. And then I'm gonna dip the tip into growth really quickly. Just kind of like apply that out here, out here. A little bit is gonna go a very long way just so that we can keep her nice and light, see? Pim, and then here, Pim. Big fluffy brush dipping the very tip. You're gonna get pigment. You're gonna get enough pigment. It's not gonna be crazy. And your eyes are gonna look pretty. Let me curl the lash without pinching my seal. And then I'm gonna go in with the Kiss. These, I think they're called the Falscara. No, these are the press-ons. I'm lying to you. These are called the press-ons because all you really have to do is like, you don't need glue. You just take it, pop this baby right there, like under the lash, leave it alone, and then just squeeze. And she's not going anywhere. They're just like little clusters. I love these. I only apply like three on the outer. Look at the difference. I apply three and then I kind of squish them in. Okay, so I feel like the skin is screaming clean girl aesthetics. Look at that foundation, how pretty it looks on the skin. So pretty, so much better than the original formula. Mm. I do feel like the bottom lash line needs a little something. So I'm gonna go in with the upgraded lashes by Wander, which I didn't love in terms of like drama for like all over the eye. I don't feel like it gives me what I want typically, but for the bottom lash line, it is really nice. So I'll just kind of like swoop-dee-doo like that. Boom, it did a little something, see, without doing much. 
So again, I'm trying to keep it clean. All right, and then I feel like all we really need to do is apply a lip. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you guys. So I went to the doctor. Initially it was for a physical, but apparently I haven't seen a doctor in a little bit. So they were like, no, 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 no. And we are new doctors. So we have to do a full on new patient, everything. I was like, okay. I got three new lip liners by e.l.f. over at Ulta also. These babies were two doll hairs. I'm looking for the next best dupe for the Dragon Beauty 2.0 CCs. I saw in my, my uh, kit over here, I have two brand new ones, but I don't wanna run out. So I wanna make sure that I find something that's similar. One that seems the closest is going to be this one over here. And this one is called Spill the Tea. This one here is Dragon Beauty 2.0 CCs. And this one is Spill the Tea. The other two are very pretty, but they have more pink in it, which is okay. Anyway, I am gonna go in with this one. So girl, tell me why she asked me like, any concern you'd like to talk about? I was like, yeah, my back is killing me. My back is always hurting. So I was talking to her about my back and what happens and I spasm and all the back issues that I've been having for the past year. And we talked about how stress triggers it. Guess what she prescribed? I'm gonna use City Lips on the lips I've Really, these are like, they sent me a handful of new shades to try and I really like it. This is just like your basic nude. They also have a pink nude. Okay, I gave you a second to guess what they prescribed. Girl, she told me to go get a massage, like a professional massage every week. No, like she seriously looked at me and goes, okay, um, hear me out. You might really benefit from massage therapy. So I was like, okay, what does that mean? And she says, get a massage at least once a week. If you can't do it every two weeks, but go and get a one hour massage. That's gonna fix your back. And I was like, oh, I was prescribed a massage. I'm not even mad at it. I normally wouldn't like massages, but I admit the times that I've gotten massages, my back has felt so much better for a prolonged period of time. All right, guys, but here is my clean girl aesthetic, clean girl look. I think it's a bit much, I might end up taking the lippy off for the work that I'm doing because I think like it's a bit much. I feel like the nails work. I have to change my top. The hair is fine. The makeup is cute. I'm not mad at it. I really needed this to fix this because this foundation is so nice. Now remember, I am listing all of the items below in the description box for you. And I really hope you've interacted with today's video. You've hit the like button, you subscribed if you're new here because we love welcoming new people to our family. And make sure you've left a comment below. Did you know how this works? Have you even tried it? And a quick hello and thank you to our channel members, the G Squad, an amazing group of people who have joined channel memberships and are supporting the channel at a higher level. If you are ever interested in joining channel memberships, all you really need to do is hit the join button below and you're good to go. All right, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. Expect new content tomorrow because I post five days a week. And I'll see you guys really, really soon. Bye, guys.